Hi everyone! Yeah, it's been a while since my last studio vlog, so I thought it was about time for another one. So yeah, I have a lot of things to do, a lot of store prep, because I will be opening my shop for the last time this year. When this video is up, the shop is already open, so I will have a link in the description if you want to check it out. I would be super happy if you did. But yeah, it will be restocked with a bunch of new products, which you will see in this video. And I have a little bit of anxiety since the shop update. It is happening a little later than I would have preferred, but that is just how it is sometimes. I don't know what happened with November, it just flew by super fast. So yeah, I would have preferred having the shop update a little earlier, but it hasn't been possible since I've been waiting for some products to arrive, and I've also been working on some other things. So I feel like my mind is just all over the place now. I have so much things to do with the shop, I have videos to do. So it will not be a super big update, but there will be some new fresh products then I will have my big update in January so speaking of new products I got this box here with some things that I am super excited to show you and yeah my clothes are a little different because this is filmed at a different time this part of the video is actually sponsored by GSJJ GSJJ is a company that produces various products like lapel pins patches stickers belt buckles keychains lanyards etc etc they have more than 20 years of experience in manufacturing with great reviews and free shipping to the US, UK, Canada and Australia. Yeah, thank you so much for sponsoring this part of the video. They reached out to me and offered some custom made products in exchange for a little review. So here we are. So I could pick any products that I'd like and there is a lot to choose from but I've been looking for a new enamel pin manufacturer so of course I had to try their enamel pins. I could get two designs so here is the first one. I want to make something with cats of course and something with a magical witchy theme. That is a general vibe for my products I suppose, witchy, magical and cats. This first design I took inspiration from one of my older Cattober pieces with a cat under a witch hat. I'm drawing this digitally with a smooth brush to make the lines nice and clean. Then the next design is a little more detailed. It is a bottle with a cat and some plants in it. And you have to keep in mind that the pin will be quite small. So if you make it very detailed, it can be a little hard to see the actual design. There might also be more flaws when manufacturing it since it will be difficult for the enamel to reach into all the small crevices and around all the details. So when the pin is made, and I am no expert at all at enamel pins, this is just one what I read but when you make an enamel pin you send in your design obviously and then a metal stamp will be created from your design and then the stamp is used to stamp out the molds which will be the base of the enamel pin when the pin bases have been plated with the desired metal finish then the enamel is poured into the mold and the line art of the design will be raised and separate the different colors from each other so no color can touch each other directly so yeah there are so many steps behind making one pin only Anyway, here are my two pin designs, which I sent off to GSJJ, and then I received these proofs back, just to see that everything is looking good before they send them off for production. And if you are not able to make a finished design yourself, you can just send in your sketches or ideas to GSJJ, and they will make the design for you. They also have their own free design tool where you can put together your own design using different templates and add your own text and so on. Yeah, let's have a look. Look at these little cuties. So we have two different enamel pin designs, but what I was very curious about are the PVC keychains. This is an all new product to me. It turned out so cute. So this is a PVC keychain. It is very soft and bendy and it's made of different layers of this rubbery I guess PVC material. So all these different colors are made out of different pieces of rubber or PVC and even if the details are super small they came out really 
nice and clear so you got like a 3d effect to it so yeah this is my little weird cat club keychain i think many of us would consider ourselves members of this club i've been a weird cat all my life and on the back it says catvalk and it comes in these cellophane bags which is the standard option i think the cellophane bags are great because now i can just open the bag and slide in the backing card so the cellophane bags will be reused Perfect. I will make my own backing cards, but if you want to, you can actually order the keychains with backing cards directly on GSJJ. So anyway, enough about the keychains. I want to take a look at the pins. So yeah, we have two different enamel pin designs. They did offer a certain amount of keychains and pins that I could get for free, but I actually chose to order a few more of these. So part of these I actually paid for myself, just in case you wonder why there's more of those. So the standard packing options are these little Ziploc bags. You can also get the pins with backing cards or if you want them in a box or whatever. But again, I will be making my own backing cards and package these in in cellophane bag. So we have the first design, which is this little kitty under a witch hat. And then the other one, another little kitty in a bottle. And this one has glitter added to the purple in the background. I was a little unsure how well this pin would turn out since there are so many small details in this, but it came out really, really beautiful. Both these pins are hard enamel, which means that they are all smooth and it's gold plated metal on both of them. So I made my pins hard enamel because I like the smooth shiny surface, but GSJJ offers a bunch of of other styles too like soft enamel sandblasted 3d or cutout pins antique finish offset printed pins there are so much to choose from I chose to have double pin post on both of them. I think this one could have gotten away with one only, but it just feels a little more secure with two of them. And also the pin won't spin around. And they also have little back stamps with my logo. I just think it's nice to have my name on them so that people will remember where they got them from. What I really like about GSJJ is how customizable each product is. You can add in all the different features and you will get an instant free quote so you will know exactly what your pins or keychains or any other products that you like will cost here you have different steps where you can choose the pin style the size of the pin what kind of metal finish that you like i think they even have rainbow finish even if it isn't listed here the amount of color and if you like to make any additional upgrades this step i think is really fun you can choose glitter colors like I did, pearlescent, glow in the dark. You can even put rhinestones on your pins, which I love to do for a future pin design. You can choose what kind of backing that you like and you don't even have to make it into a pin. You can make magnets or cufflinks or hat clips, whatever that is. And you can add your own logo if you like to, like I did. They also offer different kinds of packaging like custom backing cards. I did order my own card from a different place, but it is really nice that they have the option. Since there is no minimum order quantity, you can choose exactly how many pins that you like. Then at the very last step, you can choose the turnaround time. You can get up to 30% discount if you are willing to wait a little longer for the production and shipping, which I think is really nice actually. For the custom keychains, there are just as many options to customize your products. There are so many different keychains for all types of locations like business or sports events, marketing, and you will get free shipping and there is no minimum order quantity. Just as with enamel pins, there is step by step with different options. There are so, so many ways that you can customize your different products. Only your imagination will set the limits, I suppose. So if you're interested in making these kinds of products yourself, I will have links in the description box below. And I know that GSJJ sponsored me with these products, but they didn't pay me to say anything more than sharing their information and let you guys know what I think about the products that I received. I can honestly recommend GSJJ for your products. It was such a pleasure working with them. They really listened to my thoughts and ideas regarding the proofs and it all turned out the way I wanted so 
I'm super happy. I can definitely see myself ordering from them again. It was such a long time ago since I made an enamel pin design and again I have only made one so I am super super excited about these and I will be grading these and let you know how many B grades there are. You have to take into account that there might be a few that has some flaws. That is all natural. So I'm really curious to see how the quality is. Yeah, they are so adorable. Couldn't have been happier with how the keychain and enamel pins turned out. So yeah, thank you so much to GSJJ. I think I'm just gonna open all the bags and have a quick look at them and then I will go through them more thoroughly. I can't get over how cute these are. They are so sparkly and glittery. So I've gone through and graded all the kitty in a bottle pins and there were 30 of these in total and I could find two that I graded as B grade. It is just super super small things like on the little green leaf there, like a little bubble in the enamel. And for this one you can see in the enamel there is like a little discoloration. Also barely visible but I feel like it will be B grades anyway. Yeah, not too bad. So we're now gone through all the witch hat kitties too. There were 80 of these to begin with and I sorted three as B grades. I am pretty pleased with that. So while I have them all sorted here, I might as well go ahead and remove the, the clutches, the pin clutches from the back using this very cute clutch remover. And the reason I'm attaching them to this foam board is because I need to do a little bit of preparation with the backing cards. So I'm just putting them on this foam board in the meantime, so I will have somewhere to store them. So here are my backing cards. And I actually went with the same design for the boat pins because they're both magical kitties. Also there are 110 pins in total and I can only order the cards in hundreds or 250s or 500. So it felt a little wasteful ordering 100 cards for 30 pins only. So I got 250 of these instead. So there will be a few spare ones. So I ordered these with square corners but I think I might want to round them out a little. And you can order them with rounded corners, but I didn't. I do think it looks a little more nice and finished with the rounded corners, so I'm gonna do a little test. So here it is compared to the square corners. I do like the rounded corners a little better, I think. It looks a little more professional. Do I really have the time to cut 110 cards? Also, isn't this super cute? Well, I think I like the rounded corner better, so let's cut some cards. And I might add that I can actually order these with rounded corners, but I didn't because the square corners are a little cheaper. So I guess the lesson of the day would be if you cut corners in the budget, you will end up cutting your own corners. But you know what? I do actually enjoy doing these smaller tasks sometimes, these mindless little chores. I do actually appreciate it sometimes. It is like a little break when I can just do one easy repetitive thing and listen to some music or watch a YouTube video or something. I would never do this with 500 cards but 100 cards I think I'll get through this quite quickly.
So something that I've been wanting to do for this holiday season is ornaments and it is kind of late for selling Christmas ornaments because I don't know if these will arrive before Christmas even. I should have been making and selling these in October, but I'm gonna do them a little more winter themed than Christmas themed. So they will work all winter. You can see they are a little rough on the backside, but that is actually made on purpose because I want them to have this very nice rustic handmade feeling. So I didn't want them to be all perfect. They have a painted base layer in white acrylic. So what is left to do is basically everything. Colors, some details, a cute little face. And in case this wouldn't sell, I will have a lot of ornaments to give away to friends and family this Christmas. So they are now painted in purple, red and orange. There are little faces and some of them are wearing scarves. Some of them will be wearing sweaters. So far they are looking really cute. So yeah, let's add all the little details. So I think these guys will be wearing blue. And again, I don't want them to be too Christmassy, so I'm going with a pink instead of red. That is a very bright pink, so maybe I can add a little bit of orange to make it more desaturated. So maybe something a little more like this. Yeah, I think this is a lot better. Another update, I painted the base for uh, the sweaters and the scarves. I'm not a super fan of this green to be honest, but I think it will look good once I add all the little details, maybe some lighter greens. So now I just need to add all the little details, which is the most time consuming part, but it is also the most fun part. So uh, looking forward to that. Also, while I was painting, I got a package delivered. Nothing too interesting though, just some shipping supplies and other, other things, like sticky stuff. Ooh, these are actually cuter than I thought. Little labels with string. So I ordered these for some products that haven't arrived yet, but once they do, I will show you. It will probably not be in this vlog, but in the next one. That's a curious kitty. Also got some lamination pouches for when I'm making my bookmarks. Very thick copy paper. Kitty, you are everywhere. These I thought I would use for my backing cards for the keychains, the PVC keychains. Usually when I've been making my own backing cards, I've been using thicker photo paper or just Bristol board, but it is kind of expensive. So I actually found this thicker copy paper and I thought, why not? We also got a kitty. Yeah. Look at those whiskers. Yeah. Curly whiskers. Got some more purple tissue paper. You don't like the crinkle sound? No, but maybe you shouldn't be in the box then. <laughs> nope. Yeah, we got some more of the purple tissue paper and some paper bags. I couldn't even remember why I bought these. As you can see, they are quite long and I don't I didn't understand why I bought these, but then I remember I bought them for the notepads, because now they will actually fit in one paper bag, because the ones that I ordered last time to use specifically for the notepads, they were too small, because they were listed as a different size on the website, so, uh, but then I received them and they were too small. Isn't that very interesting? Ah. <laughs> oh, 
this is just that. But also, I will probably start using these paper bags instead of the cellophane bags for the prints, at least when I'm shipping the prints in boxes. It is a little more environmentally friendly, I suppose. Isn't it, kitty? And if you're wondering where the other little kitty is... <gasps> Here she is. She hasn't been sleeping in this cat tree for many, many, many months now. <laughs> so I was actually thinking that I should move this whole uh, cat tree out in the living room instead, just to free some space for some other things. But um, I think the day after I had that thought, she started sleeping in the cat tree again. I'm pretty sure they can read my mind. All right, I think I'm done for today painting these little ornaments, but just look, look how cute they are with all the little details on the sweaters and scarves. I just need to paint their faces, but I think I'm gonna save that for tomorrow, mainly because my neck is starting to hurt from leaning forward and painting these. I've noticed that when I'm painting very small, fine details, I'm leaning forward <laughs> a lot so i'm gonna pause these for today and finish them tomorrow it is just below zero and the day gets so much lighter because it is all frosty i love it a little update regarding the cat ornaments they are done i have also signed them on the back side so these are painted with matte acrylic paint and for some of the details i used posca pens and for the very fine details i used the uhuhu paint markers but i was a little concerned since the varnish i will be using is water-based usually i use uv resin which don't really affect the paint markers at all so i did a little test using the uhuhu who paint markers and the Posca pens and on the right side here I used a little more pressure when applying the, the varnish and as you can see it did smudge quite a bit which made me very very sad because I had already used the Posca pens on all of these but then I did another test using a very very light pressure trying to not rub the paintbrush too much using a very light pressure and it did actually work I need to be very very careful when applying the varnish here we have my little kitties varnished and done uh, at least on the front side I'm gonna varnish the back side too so now they just need to dry for 24 hours I think to be fully cured. The paint markers didn't smudge so I'm very happy about that. One thing that I noticed though is the sweater is supposed to be purple but it is looking more pink. You can see there on the right side that I think that is the color that it's supposed to be. I don't know what happened there. I did mix in a little bit of pink in the purple to make it less blue but I think the the pink is coming through. It still looks pretty though, but it is strange that it is changing color. Yeah, I think the same is happening with the scarf here. It is also supposed to be purple, but 
is looking more pink now. So far, that is the only downside when using this varnish. Also, it was so nice not having to deal with resin, and I will probably continue using resin for my pins and magnets, because I want them to be more durable, at least the pins, but for ornaments, you're not really touching them that much. Yeah, this scarf is also turning a little pink. So I printed the backing card for the keychains, and this is how it turned out. I just made something very simple, but I think it will be cute. So this is what it will look like with the orange and purple matching the keychain. So I need to cut those out. And I also need to package all the pins. There are so much things to do. Yeah, cute. Oh, also, I totally forgot to show you, but we got some new prints. So as requested, my 320 marker art will be added to the shop. This is a fourth of the original size. It is so small. It was a little bit of a gamble since I had to shrink it down quite a bit. So I was a little concerned that the details wouldn't be very good and maybe you shouldn't look too closely but but just seeing it like this it looks great and this will also be added to my redbubble store i just need to <laughs> i just need to upload it so you can get it on bigger canvases if you want that too and then we also have this little witch hat kitty on this super nice textured paper so this is actually a redraw of the enamel pin because I was thinking that I would turn these into a bundle. I do have some other products too that I'm still waiting for so the bundle may not be available until January. Very simple but still cute. Let's have a look at the ornaments. They have been drying overnight. They are all varnished. Oh my gosh the ones in the sweaters are definitely my favorite. This is what it looks like when I added the string. I made a little knot just to have it facing, <laughs> facing the right direction. I'm so happy that this matte varnish worked as well as it did. It was very easy to work with and it's not sticky or anything, so I would call that a success. Now oh, there's too many kitties here. Bye. <laughs> Coming for the strings. So you're just gonna sit in the middle of everything now. Here it comes again. These are not for you. No, 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 no. Just so you know, if you get one of the ornaments from my shop, just know that Phoenix has been highly involved in the process. I definitely want to do more of the... You can cuddle with my thumb if you want to. I really, really love how these ornaments turned out. Nay, nay, nay. I would love to make more of these in the future for few... <sighs> it's trying to steal them. No, 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 no. You can have that one if you want to. You want that? <laughs> you should not chew on it. I don't know why, but for some reason he just loves crinkled up uh, masking tape. Like when I've been painting and I removed the masking tape, he's there stealing the crinkled up tape. <laughs> It looks so funny on camera too, where you can just see his paws or his whole head. Yep. Bye. 
Anyway, as I was trying to say, I really like how these ornaments turned out and I would love to make more for future holiday shop updates. My goal for next holiday season will be having a big shop update with a bunch of holiday themed items, Christmas cards, ornaments and stuff like that. So then I would love to do more hand painted ornaments because I like to have something in my shop that is handmade like bookmarks or uh, pins, magnets and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm already planning ahead for the next holiday season. The life of a business owner, I assume. Look how pretty the backing cards turned out when rounding the corners. Let's pin our first pin. So yeah, here we have it. Also, I'm using a piece of packing tape with a sticky side up to collect all the little plastic strips from the cellophane bags. Oh, nice. So I couldn't help myself, I had to turn the keychain design into a holographic glitter sticker. I love the holographic effect, it is so pretty. I'm also bringing these back and these. There will not be a ton of new stickers for this update. I basically only have one new design. I'm actually hoping to clear out some of the old ones so I can make room for some new for future updates. Oh, I should have made more of these, this is so cute. Not a bestseller though but look at this so I'm gonna add the backing cards to the keychains. I want to go through them to see that everything is looking good, but I don't think I need to remove them from the bags to do so. I can just look through the plastic. Then I think I will just open it and slide in the backing card behind it, like so. Then I don't need to remove them, just to put them back in the bags again. It also feels nice to be able to reuse the cellophane bags that it comes in. Yeah, there we have them. A little quick note from when editing this video. The shop has been open for a few days now and I just want to say a big, big thank you to all of you who have ordered something from my shop. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I realized I need to do an outro, so... I hope you enjoyed the studio vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!